Welcome to the Online Entrepreneur Experience podcast that details the ins and outs, the how to's, and the ups and downs of living a life of an online business owner. What is going on, all you beautiful, amazing people? How pumped are you to come on and talk to Mr. Deuces and the Viking? (laughs) <laughs> right now, I guess you're not really talking, you listen to us talk, but that's just as good because like our banter is like next level banter, right? <laughs> it really is. I mean, it doesn't, wouldn't even matter if you could talk because we're not going to let you yeah. have a moment <laughs> to even get something out. <laughs> there is no like silent air when we're in a room, right? <laughs> no, no, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're talking about priorities today. We're talking about priorities. So get prepared for some priority talk. Are you, is this top on your priority today, Serenade? It is. Um, I am actually battling a cold right now. I don't know if you can hear my voice. Uh, If you can, show me some love in the comments. I need need something to lift me up and help me feel better. (laughs) So I'm, I'm trying to show up for you guys. I'm trying to bring that energy I normally do, but bear with me, I am sick. This was a priority for me. It was. I had to be here. Yeah, I did. He no had to what. show up. What's that? So he had to show up. He he did so much like preparation because this was a priority for for you guys. Like he like coma himself last night so he could get like 17 hours rest just for this. Just for you. Appreciate it. Whoa, I'm so flattered by your dedication and persistence. This is how you guys can actually involve in our conversation is commenting and we will have full conversation for you down there. <laughs> That's exactly right. I mean, we can't interrupt you if it's a comment. <laughs> There's tons of dead air down there. But make sure you type really slow because Mark's a slow reader. Oh! Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So we'll, we'll, we'll start giving you guys some value now. Uh, so Renee, like when you think of priorities, like what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Well, when I think of anything that is a priority, it's the thing that's on the forefront of your mind. It's the thing that you deem most important in your life. Like me, I've got two kids. So they're obviously one of my top priorities. And I mean, I'm getting married soon. I'm planning the wedding, the reception, all that fun stuff. So that takes a lot of my time, a lot of my energy. So it it seems like that's more of a priority for me, but I'm not going to lie. I want to delegate that to the wife as much as I can, because it's not as much of a priority to me, even though it's blasted in my face all the time. Does that make sense, Mark? Yeah, man. And I think you like you just hit that like massive, like just a bomb there. Like if I had that bomb meter that I was telling you that I'm gonna set up so I could do, like I would I would be pressing the bomb. Because you just dropped some bombs. And maybe you guys didn't understand that. What he just said is like what's on the forefront of your mind, but sometimes the things that are on the forefront of your mind aren't actually your priorities in life, but they're just forced upon you, but they're not your priorities. So you're actually not working on your priorities because you're so consumed with what's going on in front of you and how often those things happen. So like, let's just talk about children and Renee and me have, um, Renee and me have joked about this a whole bunch. Like, um, and um, it, it's about like people being like, oh no, 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 Like I'm a really good parent. I'm super involved, all those type of things. And then all of a sudden they take their kids over to their friend's house. And the first thing that they do is give them the tablet. And if the kid like comes and tries to talk to them, it's like throws the tablet in their face. It's like, but I'm like the best parent. I'm just so involved and I care so much about my kid. <laughs> but it's just like, like, is your kid your priority in this case? It's like, no, unless it was choking, uh, like you'd go over there and fix that. But like, it's not your priority. Your priority right at that moment is having fun with with your friends or um, whatever the conversation you're having. So it's just like, what is your true priority? And I think this is where people really get mixed up with saying what's their priority and their actions not showing what their priority is. So it really means that that isn't their priority, right? Yeah, exactly. And I mean, to elaborate even a little further on that, priority shift throughout the day. You Like this morning, I woke up and I thought, today I'm going to film a new short and this is how I want to do it. And I had it all planned out in my mind and it was to be filmed outside and I needed sunshine. Well, the sun wasn't shining this morning. Priority shift. 
Now I can focus on something else. So I created some content instead. And then lo and behold, sun came out. So I had to drop what I was doing because filming that reel now was the top priority. So even though you have something on the forefront of your mind that you're trying to make a priority, priority shift. And sometimes you can't actually work on what you want to work on. Yeah, massively. And that's where sometimes you have to take control of the surroundings that you have. So sometimes like maybe it is like, let's just say that you have children, you're at home and you're trying to work on say your business. You're like, ah, oh, man, I need to work on my business. I need to spend this like hour and a half of time with, with my business. Uh, but you have kids. So do you, your kids are interrupting you, all these type of things, but your priority is your business. Uh, you can't just ignore your kids though, because they're forcing their priorities on you. So what do you do? You have to control your, your surroundings and get your kids set up for like that hour and a half period of time or set up certain things. So that they're busy doing those things. So you can then concentrate. But I see so often people are like, oh, I'm always so distracted by all these things. But it's just like, so is your business really a priority? Because they're in a room where there's a TV, their cell phone, their kids are hanging out, all these different things where they can just eliminate all those things and then actually focus on what the priority is. But your priority is actually just making yourself comfortable and making it easy for yourself. That would be your actual priority in that situation. But people don't want to admit that that's what their actual priority is, right? <clears throat> yeah. And I like to always say where your priority goes, your focus flows. Mm -hmm. So in a moment, like what Mark was saying, if you're in a room with all these distractions, just because it's easier to work there or you can keep an eye on your kids or whatever, or keep them entertained so that you can try to focus on work, those distractions are going to take your focus away. And so that is a reiterating what Mark just said. It's no longer your priority. Your, bu your business is no longer your prior priority because you can't focus on it. So where your priority goes, your focus flows. So if you can't focus on one task, that's not a priority. No, for sure. Like, and your priority at that point in time is comfort. And so often you see people as like, that's their priority. So like, let's just talk about like, say diet and stuff like that. Right. So like I was at the gym yesterday and uh, it's so funny. Uh, so I'm at the gym and I'm a big dude. I'm six, five. Uh, I thought I was 240. I'm actually 228. I weighed myself this morning uh but um it, which doesn't matter like i don't really care what my weight is but like i'm just a bigger dude right um and so i'm at the gym i was working out yesterday and i look over to the left of me and there's this fucking guy and he is like puts me as a viking like to shame like i probably shouldn't even say i'm a viking just because like looking at this guy <laughs> it made me feel like insufficient as not just like a man but also as a viking like you just like i should just take the chain off and just surrender the guy his biceps like his were like four of mine like no joke like four of mine his pectoral muscle was like this big like it was just ridiculous this guy was probably a little bit shorter than me but just super thick he had like this perfectly shaved uh shorter though obviously it was shorter uh <laughs> beard than me um and he had like the whole like sides of his head and everything like that shaved all tattooed and the viking hair to it so i'm like looking at this guy and i'm like doing like some cable crossover things or whatever i'm looking at him like mark you're just you're this little bitch like you're you're a little bitch and uh i i because i'm looking at him and i'm comparing him to, to him and he's like a point one percenter like the guy's physique and everything like that is just out of this world right it's uh, it, unless like I took some crazy enhancements, I'm never going to reach what he's at. And I like, I left like the workout with my priority being like, you suck Mark. And my focus being there. Cause that was my surrounding. So because I was so, my priority was not to move, not to do any of those things. And to stare at this guy that I could never uh, achieve the body of. Um, uh, and I stayed there like uncomfortable and stuck. I, I messed with my mind. Then I went into the washroom or the change room took off my shirt, like did my normal thing. And I'm looking around at all these regular average dudes and I'm like doubled all of their size. And it's just so funny how like, how you, you can shift your perspective by shifting your surroundings. And it's the same thing where it goes to like output and priorities and everything like that. 
So you can you can sit in a place because your priority is just staying where, where your routine is and everything like that. Or you could just change those dynamics and shift them to actually the outcome. And this is essentially where we're really trying to go with this is like, where is your priority? Just doing the task and working on things, or is it actually the outcome that you're attached to? And your priority should always be the outcome. Like my outcome is this. So Renee's like priority shifted today wasn't because of the certain task that he was doing, but the outcome that he was looking at. And that's the epitome of somebody that is a higher level thinker. It's not somebody that's just focused on doing the work, but doing the outcome. So because his outcome was this, he ended up changing his routine and his rituals and his surroundings to fit what his outcome would be. And thus he achieved what he wanted to do where most people, they sit in their surroundings because that is what they already agreed to in their head and their priority is staying the same essentially. Yeah, so what you're saying is you, when you were working out and you saw this guy, he's bigger than you. Yeah. Your, your priority shifted because your focus shifted. Yeah, you're not focusing on this big guy instead of upping the weight and getting after it. <laughs> and then when you went into the change room, you you were focusing on everyone else again, but they made you feel better. So that was your priority. Yeah. Again, once again, which none of those things should really matter to me. Right. It should just be like me competing with me yesterday. Right. Yeah. Like that's what I really should be doing. Yeah. Um. For whoever's watching right now, I want you to do me a favor. Rewatch this from the beginning and take a shot every time we say priority. <laughs> I, I swear to God, we probably said it probably 45 times. Yeah, you're, you're going to be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do do that, please somehow duet this. I know this is totally on YouTube, but just... Do something because it would be hilarious. We would love to see it. Like <laughs> a shot every time we say for it. It'd be amazing. Mm. Yeah, no, Mark, you're 100 percent right. It's it's about focusing on what you want, which is the outcome, instead of the actual task. Because the way I like to look at it, if you're focusing on the task, is you're zoomed right in. You're zoomed so close to like each little pen stroke if you're writing something like zoom out a little bit zoom out and and have a look at the bigger picture so then you can you can see everything that you need to do and then you can choose your priority that's going to best serve you and the outcome that you want for sure for sure and i think that is so massive and i think it's missed by so many people and when people talk about priority they say write a list and all these kind of things and I'm, I've had a few different business partners um, it, it, over my my business career, and I've had s certain business partners where they're just like, oh, this business is my number one priority. And then like they didn't work on the business for four days and they went out partying and everything like that. But this is my number one priority. It's just like bro, it's not like fun and living your life is your number one priority. And that's cool. Like, it's just also admitting those things to yourself. And if you can't accept them, it's time to change your actions, right? And a lot of times it's just like, people don't accept those things and they won't accept them because they're like, they, in their heads, they seem some type of way. Like they are some type of person in their head than in real life. And the person in their head would never prioritize anything over like say their business or whatever their the results that they're getting but they they are so it's just like a lot of times it's like you have to get over your own ego to take a step back as renee was saying look at the situation and yourself and just be honest with it and it's really okay to be honest uh, with all those type of things like Renee and me have many many honest conversations of calling each other out and what real things are and all that type of stuff and like we're really nice to each other like we mock each other about it and like you know like just belittle each other it's it's really really healthy relationship <laughs> super healthy <laughs> I always walk away feeling so low <laughs> you better about yourself right <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah that's exactly what this podcast is about today is priority, how to focus your own priority to best serve you and just get the most out of life. Big time, big time. And whatever your goals are, like your real goals, like your intangible goals, they should correlate with your priorities. So you guys should be working on those. And if you're not like, then you have to either shift your priorities or just be honest what your real priorities are and just know that those are what your outcomes are going to be.
And it, it, you're the only one that can judge those things. You're the only one that can tr- control them. In the end of the day, like all of the other stuff that we always talk about on this podcast, you're the only person that can, can control it. You're the, you're the biggest problem and the biggest solution in your life. And it is an amazing feeling. And that's all about that CEO lifestyle, right? Yeah, totally. When you're in control of the own, your own finances and it does matter if you show up and it does matter if you do a good job, it's, it's freeing as much as you got to work more, but it is totally free. Love it. Love it. That's yeah, huge. Um, so that's all I got. Uh, so that was the priority for me today. I got all my priorities out and uh, all of uh, that. So just, was there any last priorities that you had to talk about? Um, well, I don't have a shot, <laughs> with, <laughs> but I am going to cheers and say priority. <laughs> Oh, love it, love it. Anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next uh, week's episode. Don't forget to hit that bell, like Renee always says. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss another episode. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the comment, comment section and having a conversation. Right on. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning into the Online Entrepreneur Experience. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes that we're releasing and any of these amazing pieces of value that we're giving out. And if you could take the time out of your day and leave us a review, we'd be so grateful. We look forward to seeing you on that next episode.
Thanks for tuning into the Online Entrepreneur Experience. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes that we're releasing and any of these amazing pieces of value that we're giving out. And if you could take the time out of your day and leave us a review, we'd be so grateful. We look forward to seeing you on that next episode.